That's where we find designer Victoria Tonelli, who's bringing us the finishing touches for a perfect room. Victoria, I'm so happy to see you. You've got a checklist to make sure that no room is left incomplete. First on the list is how to make sure the space feels grounded. This is something a lot of us get wrong. Totally. So the short answer to that question is an area rug. I've been having this conversation far more than I want to lately with people, clients and friends kind of telling me, as a matter of fact, they won't be putting a rug in their living room. And my answer is always just like, sorry, what? Because I, <laughs> me, it's a non-negotiable for me. You have to have a rug in your space, but it's very important uh, that you get the size right. So we did start off this exact space with a four by six rug. That rug does nothing for the space. It just lives only under the coffee table, which is a common mistake. Really making a large rug, so this is a 10 by 14. The rule of thumb is to make sure that all the front legs of all furniture pieces live on that rug, and that makes all the furniture items, the sofa, the coffee table, the chairs feel united. Absolutely, and it's something that uh, a lot of us are still doing wrong. So I love yes. the fact that you're like, mm -mm -mm, no, you're putting a rug in the space, and yes. it's going to be a big one. <laughs> to yes. all the people saying they don't need one. <laughs> yes. Talk to me a little bit about uh, window treatments. How important are those? So important. I feel like no window treatments I associate with a dorm room or, you know, your first adult space after school. <laughs> Draperies or window coverings really can add some sophistication to the space, and it can also add some softness to an otherwise hard lines. And privacy, so making a space feel so much more versatile. Um, that being said, very important to do it right. So we do have a photo of a very common mistake. So handing, hanging the rod that's too low and not wide enough very quick fix is hanging the rod as high as possible to the ceiling and also wider. So at a very minimum, I would say 12 inches off the window trim. This gives the illusion of larger windows and that ceiling height that's much taller. My ultimate solution lately has been a ceiling track system when it comes to drapery install. So this track system is actually from Ikea. So it's super cost effective. You can hang it right on your ceiling and it really does utilize that full height of your ceiling and it really can make a space feel custom because you can do it wall to wall. Quick tip is to make sure that you actually install this system four inches from the wall and this will allow the drapery to fall properly. Well, I like that. That's actually a really lovely way to do it. And the other thing about draperies, if, if folks are thinking they can get away with no window treatments. Mm -hmm. It softens the space. Like it totally. really does add some softness to a space. It really is important. Yes. Okay, let's talk yes. about blank walls. Um, some of us are still stuck with blank walls. How do we address that? So it's funny to me because art seems to be such an afterthought in a space. If it's even a thought at all, it comes after the walls are painted or after all the furniture is placed, but it really can make or break a space and it can create a focal point, which is so important when you're walking into a space to give you that first wow item. So what we did is initially we hung a piece of art that was actually too small for the space and hung too high. Cut to this piece of art, this beautiful piece is from Elty. Why it works is because the scale's right. So it's as a rule of thumb, give or take, you want the piece of art to be two thirds the width of the furniture piece that it's being hung above. And also you want it to come eight inches off that furniture piece. The reason for that is that you want the art to stay connected to the furniture piece below. So everything feels super unified and complete. Oh, that's such a good rule of thumb. Also eye line, like you want to be able to enjoy yes. that art. So it should be at a place where you can see it, not up here, right? Yeah. yeah. But that's a beautiful piece of art, I love it. Yeah. What is the best way, we keep hearing about greenery, very, very important. What's the best way to add greenery into a space, Victoria? So nine times out of 10, when I finish a space to totally, I come in and I say, what's missing? It's always some type of life. And that comes in greenery or plants. Not a huge fan personally of the small little plants everywhere. It makes the space feel very cluttered, but I love one statement piece. So this actual plant here is a floor plant. It gives it some height. Um, and it's from Valley View Gardens. So I love that pop of green and it really does make the space feel complete. Yeah, there's so, something so nice and impactful about one big plant in a space totally. if you can keep them alive, which I can't. Me so too. for you at home that can, 
You go for it. Totally. Let's talk a little bit, Victoria, about accessories. Uh, how do you make sure it's not too sparse or too cluttered? Yeah. Mostly too cluttered, because I think most of us lean in the direction of too cluttered. What yes. can we do to make sure that doesn't happen? Totally. So accessories are the icing on the cake. I think all cake is better with some icing, but sometimes <laughs> there can be too much icing where you can't get at the cake. So that means that you're doing it wrong. So here, we added these beautiful accessories. You know, this gives it a pop of green. This gives some texture and some pattern. It really does make a space feel complete. But if you add 10 pillows to this sofa and you can no longer sit on the sofa, you have gone too far. That's too much icing, it's too much pillows, and it's no longer functional. Same thing when it comes to the coffee table. So here we really did, you know, group items so that you can still utilize this table as a table. I can still use it to have my drinks on there. All items on here are actually functional, minus one little decorative piece. You have a candle, you have books, everything that means something to me. And also you have a vase for beautiful flowers or greenery or whatever you want to add. Gorgeous! I love it all. Uh, and you know, at the end of the day, I know a lot of people turn to City Line because we've got the experts, but sometimes you have to be your own expert and use your own eye to look around and just say, this is too much icing or totally. not enough icing. Yes. Like that's the metaphor I'm going to remember from now on because I love cake. Yes. Victoria, thank you so much. Great tips as always.